New home buyers could be paying thousands of dollars extra to offset inflated labour costs amid claims of a lack of government investment. The housing industry is seeking help to employ more apprentice tradies, but say their pleas have fallen on deaf ears. It's one of the main planks of the economy, but housing construction's been hit hard by a lack of investment in apprentices. The Master Builders Association says numbers in group training schemes have halved in the past four years and home buyers are footing the bill. The labour costs are the biggest costs of building anything. And so for a, obviously a builder, if they're taking on apprentices, uh, you know, obviously um, uh, that's the additional cost that's always passed on to the consumer. They want direct government investment and hope to nail down a commitment ahead of the March election. If we can bring more apprentices into the, uh, in into the industry, um, it will lead to ensuring that in the future there's adequate labour. Both major parties have already ruled out revisiting an abandoned payroll tax concession on apprentices. We would encourage both parties to have a look at that again. We can't afford to do many of the things that we would love to do. That's only one half of the equation, training. The other half of the equation is keeping a pipeline of work. But first, the Premier needs to get his own house in order, with his party's right faction still seething over his intervention in a messy pre-selection stoush in the safe seat of Napier. Labor insiders predicting a swift retaliation. Jay Weatherall is a dead man walking. I'm going to comment on unsourced rumours. Everything's going well. Got to get on with uh, the election campaign. But is he, is he a dead man walking? Tom Richardson, 9 News.